Good morning, KSB. It's your friend, Miss B, with today's announcements. Today is Tuesday, January 26th of 2021. It is National Peanut Brittle Day and Plan for a Vacation Day. Here is today's useless fun facts from Miss B's fun feudal factoids. Did you know? A dragonfly has a lifespan of one day. Now it's that time of the morning where we take a walk down memory lane to visit Mr. Reese's riveting historical rewind corner. On this day in 1838, the first prohibition law in the history of the United States was passed in Tennessee, making it a misdemeanor to sell alcoholic beverages in taverns and stores. The bill stated that all persons convicted of retailing spiritous liquors could be fined at the discretion of the court and that the fines would be used to support public schools. And on this day in 2020, a helicopter carrying Kobe Bryant crashed shortly after takeoff. Bryant's death sent shockwaves through the American sporting world. Let's spend 2021 finding ways to be inspired each day. Your inspirational quote for January 26 comes from playwright James Guyer. It's amazing how a little tomorrow can make up for a whole lot of yesterday. There will be an informational meeting about KSB Athletics on Thursday, January 28th at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All students, 7th grade through 14th grade, and their families are welcome to attend to hear information about goalball, wrestling, cheer, swim, and track. Information was sent via email yesterday. If you did not receive a Teams meeting invite and would like to attend, please contact me, Miss B, for more information and the meeting link. The 2021 Summer Work Program will be held on June 13th through the 25th. Any interested student age 16 or older and up to age 20 by June 1st can apply. Deadline to register is March 20th. If you're interested in participating, contact Mr. Mullins for more information. That's all for today's announcements. I hope everyone has a great Tuesday. Continue to practice those paws. Positive thinking, act responsibly, work hard, and show respect.